If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. So they actually made him a flashback card that looks interesting. Uh, so... Bruno Fernandes is 5'10", high, high work rates, 4-star, four 4-star four capabilities, mostly explosive, right-footed player. In-game play styles, he has, oh, he has passing ones, it's actually really nice. Okay, so he has incisive pass, pinked pass, long ball pass, plus. So that's really cool. So let's say, for instance, you guys enjoy playing some sort of like 4-3-2-1, right? And this guy is your attacking-oriented center mid playing in the right center mid position. It looks pretty solid in that area because he even has intercept, anticipate, which is really cool. This is different. A lot of cards don't have stuff like this, which is really nice. Um, he's got flair. He's got first touch. He has Trivella to work with too, while being a relentless player. So honestly, W play styles. In game attributes, this card is definitely going to be someone that you probably give a shadow chemistry style too. Could you technically give him a hunter chemistry style if you really want to in that area as well? 100%, right? If you really want to improve the shooting to be as good as possible, you want him to get involved in the attack um, more than on the defense, it wouldn't be a horrible decision because he still has some defensive stats, right? But regardless, pace will be increased. The only thing that's going to be on the lower side for the card will be in the sprint speed department. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shooting on the card is in a fantastic area. Passing is in a fantastic area. Dribbling also for a midfielder in a good area as well. Some people are going to wonder, hey, can I use a card like this in the cam position? Technically speaking, you can. But meta wise, I don't see that being a long term thing because of his dribbling stats being the way that it is. Do you know where the position, you know, what best. Oh, sorry, I can't speak English right now. Do you know where his best position is? To be honest with you, Do you guys know the 4132 tactic. The 4-1-3-2 tactic, playing this card in that center mid area, in my opinion, he would cook there. That's like the best spot for him, right? But again, center mid, 4-1-3-2, 4-3-2 when attacking going to center mid, like that type of vibe. Cards like this really, really do well in those areas. So we're going to see, I might actually give him a hunter just if I use him specifically in that spot because we can test him out defensively without the stuff too, right? But obviously, uh, he's still really well formatted for that specific area anyways. Uh, physicality, he has a 99 for stamina to work with the relentless situation of the card. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff to work with. This card is a flashback, but it is a card that gives you the Premier League Manchester United links. So it looks very, very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and get the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Ooh, quick there, nice. I like it, I like it. Ball roll into Trivella. Mm-hmm. You know what, Bruno, you're already starting off hot, my boy, huh? Oh yeah, when you have when you have the plus version of these things, oh yeah. If we get this, we do nice. Ah, oh, side footed animation. It'd be like that. Let's go, Bruno. Oh, hey, listen, stuff needs to come from something, right? Because of his good pass there, we got a little bit lucky. Let's go, Bruno. Yeah, he's guys. If you use him in that attacking center mid role, he will cook. He's he's doing constant movements right now. Positions himself really well in a lot of situations. Look at this. Fake, it, fake him out a little bit. Fake him out again. There you go. I'll 
I'll take that. Oh, Georgie boy, Besto. I went to the tree villa. War switch. That's what I like to see, Bruno. That is what I like to see, my dude. Almost gets a possession based tackle. Oh, he fell on me there. Definitely has an animation to defend, though. It's really interesting. Oh, imagine if I score from that angle. Yeah, AI. Touch. Bang. If I green it, I might actually score that one. That's a good first time pass. He's going to get into space really nicely here. I'm going to do this. Give a little bit here. Create the space there. Shot cancel. Okay, it doesn't register the shot cancel. Oh, still gets defensive play. I'll trigger. Skill move into it. One more. Shot cancel. Okay, we don't do a shot cancel again, but we score. <laughs> Alrighty then. Get it, get it. There you go. I'm going to force him to make a run here, then stop him. Do this. And then leg round switch again. Oh, never mind. He switched his body to like pass to somebody else there. He's offside, but... Be mindful of those runs, man. If you have, like, to get him behind for your attackers, it's going to be kind of crazy to utilize that for sure. Oh, unlucky there. Yeah, he understands spacing really well. If you get him, if you get him on the uh, sort of instructions where he can attack, it's pretty solid. It was close there. Leg round switch. Does well under pressure. I like it. Look at the law pass, bro. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, just force runs with him, bro. Force runs. Get that law pass going. And the attacking AI. Oh! Almost. Touch. Yes! This card's cool, man. This card's cool. Uh, guys, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna be, like, really nitpicky for the meta of the game, it's just the pace sometimes. But, like, everything else is pretty cool, man. Ooh, nice old trigger shield. Oh, listen, 
If I have a hunter and I like, listen, if I green it, maybe I actually hit the side there, but on a hunter that could go in, you know, it was a great, like the strike animation was fantastic. And look at the little, little, little interception for me in that pass right there. Oh man, almost. Watch a switch. Oh, lovely registration, EA. Full power, you can clearly see at the bottom left. He's like right next to me. <laughs> Give me that technical, yeah, yeah. Little ball roll touch into the law pass. You already know it's super assisted. There we go. Ball roll into the driven. Ah, I should just shot it from there. I was going to create the space. Ooh, war a pass. Create that little space. When players have like passing play styles, the way that they just wait the pass, like through balls, law passes, it's so crazy, man. Law pass again. Yeah, it's just, it's like always accurate. It's crazy. You do this, first time, accurate as well, right? Look at that shield touch. Wow. He does that consistently. Eh? It's actually really nice. Look, see, he does well under pressure. Oh, we're still doing it. We're still doing it. Little, little fakesies. Oh, Kai Havertz. He do be a beast, man. He do be a beast. Oh, I thought that was still going to work there. Even the one where he's off balance, eh? Look at this. Oh. Is he offside? Yeah. Sometimes you got to guess, because sometimes when you overcommit the side position, sometimes they're, uh, they, pe they put people on side, right? Guys, this card's really nice, man. He, you know what? You know what he constantly does all the time? Like, when I shield the ball, his shield touch is awesome. Like, he's doing it consistently, bro. And the shooting animation that the card has is a good one. So if you decide to give this card a hunter, his power strikes come off very, very nicely. Lob pass. Look at that. Nice and composed. Oh, we're not going to get rewarded for it, though. You know the vibes. Oh, Bruno with the interception, though. Oh. Take him out a little bit. There you go. From there. It's a really, really uh, bad angle to shoot from, but we try them. <laughs> okay, nice assist by Best and Bruno with a chip. I'll take that. Oh man, mistimed it there. All right, we'll take a header. Why not? Look at that! Look at that shield touch. You see what I'm saying?
Holy! Ah, uh, I'll get the deflection though, I guess. Sure thing, sure thing. Dude, even like the small ones, but oh. See? Told you, he has a, he has a good shooting animation. <sighs> he has a really good shooting animation. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Bruno Fernandes card. So, guys, listen. Um, long story short, all right? You know, see, some people already disliking the SBC because of the price of it and so on and so forth. Let me tell you guys something right now, okay? The only thing that is low on this card for the meta of the game is the pace, right? Especially in the sprint speed department. However, if you use this card in the way that it's supposed to be used, for instance, 4132 playing in that center mid position, right? The person that can attack and defend for you. Very, very key thing to have there. If you play him in a 4321, attacking oriented center mid, the guy that could potentially push forward. If you play him in a 4122 and he's the center mid that can push forward or stay back and push forward, like he can kind of do both. This card is going to cook for you, okay? Because the play style is a really big deal this year. Don't get me wrong. Definitely a very big deal. But guys, the card has a good shooting animation when it comes to the power strikes. There's nothing here that says anything about the power strikes, but they come off very nicely. You feel it with the card when you're using them. The passing, guys, the passing is disgusting. It's disgusting passing, okay? Law ball pass plus is crazy, super assisted. You can literally just force runs and he will just pinpoint them every single time. Giving him intercept and anticipate to have in the midfield position. Guys, I'm, you know what? I was saying, oh, you know what? Don't even use him as a cam, don't use him. Guys, honestly, if you wanted to use him as a second striker, you can use him, right? Because you know how there's that 4-4-2 uh, that I showed you guys the other day, right? If you were to give this card a hunter chemistry style and you use him in that position where he's kind of like the false nine in that area, he can cook for you there too. But again, you just have to be mindful of the pace being lower. That's why he's mainly going to be an actual midfielder. But if you use him in the midfield position, this guy is really good. Like he is. He has all of the right things. You know, the work rates are there. Four star, four stars there. His passes is well weighted. His shooting animation is very, very nice. Guys, the Trivella, he has the regular Trivella. You guys saw the way that he was hitting the Trivella shots. Like, I don't really need to explain that. You guys saw the way that he was hitting them. It was kind of crazy. Okay. The SBC price, you know, people may not agree with, but he's good in game. It's just the pace. It's just the sprint speed part in certain situations. But for the role that he plays in your team, I'm telling you, you're not really going to care about that pace that much. Because even his attacking AI moving into those attacking positions, when you have him just kind of like doing his thing, he's really good. He goes there. He goes there. He gives you support here. Gives you support there. Gets ready for a good pass. Intercept does nicely. Very, very solid card. Honestly, his team of the year like during that time period was really nice too like that team of the year car was really sick but guys it's the play styles this year the play styles is such a huge thing and they're very noticeable things in game very very noticeable like he's really really good okay so hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys